Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the previous video, we got the lovely bow and arrow here in the Tower of the Gods, which, fun fact, you can item slide with. <laughs> in today's episode, we're going to go to the newly opened portal light tunnel thing we got from placing all three of the statues in their respective locations. And now we will get to soar into the third floor up here of the tower. So let's go ahead and get out some bombs because we do have some Beemos here we're going to want to work on taking out. Hey, a joy pendant. Good find. Some hearts. Always good. Let's go ahead and take out this Beemos as well. Is that going to work or do you have to actually hit the top of the Beemos? You have to hit the top of the Beemos. I think you have to take damage to get take those guys out. Weird. Anyway, you might notice across the way there are some little panels of lights, which we know that we can step on to have different things happen. Now, I think I'm really curious. Can you item slide through the the barrier? I feel like you can. I'm really curious. I, I feel like you can item slide through it. Oh, hold on. Oh, we have crazy fast item slide speed. This is probably not superb. I'm going to go ahead and drop the item slide. Hold up. I want to try item sliding straight through it. And then I'm going to do the puzzle properly. Don't worry. But I feel like... Oh, no. Maybe you can if you have high enough speed. I don't know. I'm not going to bother testing it too, too much. I don't want to glitch the game. Item sliding is just really easy and really fun. And um, that's good. I like glitches like that that are super accessible. You can also crash the game with item sliding, though. I did that at the end of one episode, which is not superb. Um, it was the end of, I think, the episode that ended us on Windfall after all the collection. I just item slid off of Windfall and it crashed the game because I went too fast. This gets us the big key, though. The big key. Oh, hello. Hello. The big key is the item we need to use to open up the the boss door. You can deactivate these guys by shooting them with uh, an arrow, and then you can sneak around back to hit the gems, which is very useful. Loot? No, just rupees. I kind of need magic. Um, there's also an arrow back there, but I'll be fine without without an arrow drop. This will take us outside. There are Kargaroks up here, in case you all need Kargarok feathers, golden feathers. I actually think we are superb on golden feathers though. I don't know if we'll ever need any more. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly... Okay, what's the plan here? How am I gonna... Are you supposed to... You might have to bomb these guys, but like I'm not going to. Okay, let me throw! Okay. I have 97 bombs. Don't think you're not easily defeated. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Is there any treasure chests out here by the way? I didn't miss any treasure chests, right? Nope, got them all. Nice. Can I get a two for one special? I can't even get a one for one special. I did get a two for one special, nice. I passed these uh, Beemos as well. There was a fairy in that one, that's superb. Any magic though? Nope, bombs and arrows, all right. Into the lair of the boss we go. How awesome. Alrighty, we'll go into this room and we'll get to face the boss. Do y'all see a... a boss? You have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, chosen one. Accept this final challenge. Oh my gosh. It's a hand. It's... Another hand. It's a face. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Godan. His theme is amazing, and his boss fight is hopefully very familiar to you because it's very similar to. Uh oh. The boss fight we did for. Um. Uh oh, look out. Get out of the way. The boss fight we did for- uh oh. Bongo Bongo in The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. In the sense that there's a guy. He is composed of several parts. He has a face. And he has hands. 
And what you need to do is deactivate the hands and then place a bomb in the face, which is not what you had to do for, um, oh, for, for Bongo Bongo. But yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting concept for a boss, I guess. Hand and eyeball weak points aren't like foreign in the Zelda games, uh, but you know, they're still pretty cool. A Godan will give you extra arrows if you run out, by the way, which is a scenario we might find ourselves in. He will literally just spit them out for you. Because Godan isn't an enemy, actually. Godan is a challenge presented by the goddesses uh, for the hero, which is Link. So yeah, Godan isn't here to, like, defeat you in the sense that he is actively trying to ruin your day. So here's Godan, he's gonna sneeze out some arrows for us. Yeah, he's just a challenge. He's honestly a friendly boss. He is a boss, yes, but he he is a friendly boss. He, he isn't meant to... He isn't a minion of Ganon, is what I'm trying to say, and I can't spit it out for some reason. Um, but, you know. Okay, look out. He's gonna do his laser beam attack again. Yeah, Godan's theme reminds me of Castlevania. I don't know if it reminds anyone else of that. Just sort of that same style of music. Is this the third bomb? Usually for Zelda bosses, three is the charm. Oh, heck yeah. We beat Godan. The path can now be opened. O oh, Chosen One. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Go forward with caution. See? We just have to prove ourselves to Godan, and he will let us leave and he'll return to the wall. He is 150% a, a challenge, not an enemy. He's gonna place himself back into the wall and sneeze out a heart container for us. We deserve it. Heart container 14, which is a little bit bonkers. We have that much already. Let's go ahead and hop into the light and be swept up yet again. There are no stairs in this dungeon, only magical glowy elevators. This will actually take us to the next floor, which is the very top of the Tower of the Gods. A very cool place with not a lot going on. There's only this platform up here with a bell on top of it. And a very easy to see grappling hook indicator. We can use this to ring the bell. That is our way of signaling we have reached the top of the tower. And we can ring it to bring justice or like an indication that we have in fact beat the challenge. And this will allow us access to something brand new. A beam of light will emerge from the ocean. It kind of looks like a treasure chart location, but it's not a treasure chart location. It's not a treasure chart location one bit. You have done well, Link. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero, but this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Link? Hey, Red Lion says yes. I say no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. We're sinking. King of Red Lions is a submarine. We're going to send below the ocean. Which is something we can do now. Link is holding his breath because he's underwater. But actually, there's no need. Link can breathe underwater. Link isn't actually underwater. He's in like a little weird space. This part of the game is kind of trippy. I won't lie. Clearly this game has submarines. We've seen them before. So how has no one gone below the ocean to find this? Well, I guess the Tower of the Gods didn't exist until now, so... I'm also talking over a great song. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we have descended down below the ocean into Hyrule Castle. It exists under the sea. And it exists in a frozen bit of time. Tell me more, King. You're probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. 
Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Well, King of Red Lions, your wish is my command. Let me go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our next part of the quest. We have to- oh look, ancient grass. Our next part of the quest is to go into the castle and claim an item that's going to help us defeat Ganon once and for all. I think you guys might have an idea what it could be. But we're going to go ahead and pick that up in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys turn my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.